Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So finally, uh, winter appears to be kind of over around here, which means there's actually some sun, which means I can film like this because there's a little bit of light. Hopefully it's not super glary, but I guess I'll see when I check this footage. Um, so I figured what I'd do here is a quick Q&A session, and I put a post up on my Patreon a while back letting people there know, because they're supporting me, that they get first dibs on questions in my Q&A sessions. So we actually do have, I'm going to do three questions. They actually did all come from Patreon this time. But of course, if I don't have enough from there, then I'll pull a couple interesting ones just out of the comments and whatnot, because I want to answer you guys' questions to the best uh, of my ability, essentially. And doing it in a video just allows me to put in more detail and, and kind of give you a better answer than I can typing stuff out, especially since it takes a long time to type stuff out and I'm really busy. <laughs> Anyway, so our first question today is um, how can you deal with painting over your frets when you're painting your fretboard? Essentially, how do you mask them or what do you do for that? And the answer is you really don't need to mask them. Usually when you're painting a fretboard, it's going to be a maple fretboard and typically you're going to paint it with lacquer, right? That's kind of the common thing that we see is a lacquered maple fretboard, nice and glossy. The guys, when they do that, they're, they're not taping off their frets with a super thin piece of tape or anything crazy like that. What they do is they just go ahead and spray right over them. You make sure that your frets are nicely polished first. I've got videos on how to do fret work. We polish the frets in those. You make sure they're nice and shiny and then the paint doesn't stick to them properly. So you paint right over top of them. The lacquer will bridge them, which is fine. So you'll have paint on top of them. All you have to do then is go in with a razor blade, an X-Acto knife, or better yet, uh, you can use a knife that's only beveled in one direction and cut right along the bottom of the fret, angling in right kind of almost underneath it on either side, and then peel the paint right off. It won't stick, it'll just come right off of the fret. So that's how you deal with that. The next question from Patreon is, uh, can you lacquer over oil? And I think this kind of means oil-based stains and or an oil finish. It really doesn't matter uh, one way or another. The answer is no. I, I certainly wouldn't. Uh, lacquer is pretty finicky. It tends to have some reactions to stuff. And one of the things that it reacts to is oil. So don't lacquer over top of oil. You'll notice that you get adverse reactions. The lacquer doesn't stick properly. It crinkles, it um, crazes, things like that. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh God. Now that winter's open, we have fully entered uh, construction season apparently potholes here so big I could swim in them. All right, our third and I guess final question for today, does your pick guard change the sound of your guitar? I'm not entirely sure. There wasn't a lot of detail on this one, what they mean. I imagine they probably mean uh, the material of your pick guard. And the answer is n not really. I mean, it can, it can affect the sound of your guitar acoustically, but if you've got a pick guard, chances are you're plugging in your guitar. I assume they're not me they they're not getting at on an acoustic guitar. So once you plug it in, really the only difference it makes is if it's conductive, it can help create that Faraday cage and seal. Well, it's not a full Faraday cage because you've got the pickup holes, but essentially a Faraday cage and uh, and seal it electronically so that you don't have that interference from other electric electric signals. So it's. You know, if you use an aluminum pick guard, for example, it's a lot like using a well shielded pick guard. Outside of that, you're really not going to notice a difference. Your material density, the thickness of your pick guard, that kind of stuff doesn't matter. So you can make a beautiful wooden pick guard or even a leather one, and it's not going to sound better or worse than the plastic one that you would typically get. It's it's not going to sound any different really than the plastic one you would typically get unless it's not shielded properly or something like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you didn't hate the fact that I'm doing this in a car right now. Don't worry, hands free, not distracted or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, again, hope you liked it. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you can take a look at some of the cool projects we've got coming out. And thanks again. I will see you next time. Have a good one.